Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to another uh, episode of, uh, what's this called? Pokemon Showdown Live. Uh, we're still going to be using this KD team. Uh, still been really enjoying it. I think it's a really good team. And yeah, man, we're just going to get in some quick games really quick. Okay, so today, first match, we're going up against Hippo Milk is Pink. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh, it has Toxicity. More than likely G-Max. Uh, we have a Gastrodon, Togekiss, Scrafty, Deruludon, and Ludicolo. Uh, there's a pretty couple standard here, like Gastrodon, Togekiss, and Deruludon. But, uh, who do I think he wants to G-Max in this matchup? I think he wants to probably maybe at the Togekiss or the Toxicity. Tricity. Toxicity. There you go. Uh, so I'm, a, I'm afraid that it's like I, uh, I think I do want to go with Berry Berry and I mean I'm afraid it's like with Berry Berry with uh, Heat Wave but I do want to go this um and then actually Sylveon's not too bad here and I like uh, Incineroar here too as well Yeah, uh, probably gonna be using this team like maybe like one more video or something, and then I'm gonna move on to something else that I've been kind of kind of working on. Oh, you'll probably guys know in the next video. Uh, okay. I don't think Toxicity learns a fire move here, so I feel like I can just easily just go into Max Quake here. And yeah, right, maybe Max, Max Quick, Max Quick, or Butterfly the Scrafty. I think I want to Butterfly the Scrafty. Okay. Nice KOs. Shift gear, what the? Shift gear. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Wow. So it's a physical. Wow. Uh. Kind of want a helping hand here. Overdrive. Okay. Pretty good turn all around. A Thunderbolt, that's good. And Ludicolo is the last one. Uh, so really easy here. I'm just gonna target the Ludicolo. Max Guard, really good play by him. He went for a Flash Cannon. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm also gonna go to do a Trick Room here. He might be trying to like get rid of my uh, Durant, but oof, it almost gets the KO. Wow, Dragon Pulse, nice, worked out really well. Uh, and I think I just want a helping hand. We're getting T to live a uh, uh, Flash Cannon, at least one. Wow, holy man, that did so much. We're just gonna click Psychic here. That should be the game. Yep, as he forfeits. Gonna get another one. Okay, we're gonna go up against Bergamella or Bergamella. Not sure. Uh, he has an Edgy Slash, which is really cool. I haven't seen that at all this season. Uh, except for in the, the recent regional at Melbo. Uh, okay, so... I think my Tyranitar is pretty good here. Yeah, Tyranitar seems really good here. So I kind of want to do like Tyranitar with... 
Uh, Milotic? Or Incineroar? I think Milotic with Incineroar and Sylveon in the back. Yep, okay. So, it's pretty easy. I think I'm just gonna try to get this. It's more, more likely on tempo, so. And I kinda wanna go for a Scald here. Try to get a cheeky burn here. On the Mudsdale. Alright. Alright, so it does Dynamax. Gonna fake me out, which is okay with me. Oh, nice. Okay. I think I want to protect here. Or not. I think I do. Swagger. Okay. Burn? No burn? Okay. Wow, the yeah, KOs too. Nice. The Renatar is just so strong, man, with, with the weakness policy and Dynamax form. It just gets like the KOs like nothing sometimes. Okay, we have a uh, Dracovish. Uh, I'm just gonna do Icy Win. I, I wanna at least be able to try to outspeed it if, in case it's scarfed or something. Goes for Sylveon. Vicious Ren, okay. All right, so I still I still think this is pretty faster. I, I still think Dracovish is still faster. I'm pretty sure it's like base. Uh, but I'm, I'm okay here just to kind of get rid of my Tyranitar. I already did its job. What I really want is Sylveon to come in and kind of clean up here. Oh, so he switches out. That's interesting. I think that was a really bad play from uh, my opponent. Yeah, because I could... Yeah. I was going to say Storm will just knock it out right now, but no. Reflect on the Sylveon. Okay. Um, again. Uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, I'll just double protect here, because I know the Grim Snow has fake out. Okay. Tony is taking his time. Yeah, and I figured the fake out and psychic fangs. Okay. So did he choice lock and stuff into that? Thunder wave. Okay. Not so. Wonder what it could be. Oh wow. Well. Alright, so we need this, uh... Oh, okay, this could be a pretty big problem here. If I don't reduce the speed. Okay. Ouch. Oh my god, of course, man. <laughs> oh. Icy win. Jesus Christ. Darkest Lariat, alright. Oh my god, I'm just getting hacked here. Uh, I'm gonna try to protect that icy win here. I just need to get a one icy win or something off, man. Rock Slide, okay. Alright, so far so good, I think. Oh. Yes, sir. I mi he missed that. Nice. So that's kind of like justice, you know? I mean, he I got para once, right? Pretty sure if we could go up here, my Milotic did not move for like three turns. If I'm correct. Uh... Yeah, it's right here, yeah. My Lodic paralyzed. My Lodic got hit by confusion. My Lodic got hit by confusion. <laughs> yeah, so it was three turns that uh 
my Lurk didn't move, so him missing that Thunder Wave was a uh, kind of justice. Okay, so hmm, this is a pretty interesting team. I wonder if it's weakness policy on the Colossal. Just name it, Colossal. Uh, doesn't look like he has anything to kind of rock his weakness policy. Oh, but Tyranitar looks really good here. Uh, so does Incineroar looks great. And... Sylveon and Milotic look good here too. Oh, he has Surf. I forgot he could have Surf here. But what do I like here? I do like dark. What do I what do I like here to do? I kind of do want a Dynamax though. Yeah, cause it's gonna surf here. Actually, I'm just gonna. Yeah, if it surfs, uh, my he procs my weakness policy. So. A good song, I guess. The engine Prox. Wow, he didn't even go for the. All right, interesting. Yeah, man. That kind of just counters it. Okay, so I guess he's like thinking he's only got 15 seconds left. All right, he just forfeits, I guess. Actually, I'm going to change the song really quick. All right. I'll probably cut that out or something. All right, so... We got a nice little kind of hard trick room here. Uh, my Lodic might be Coil to kind of put some Pokemon to sleep. Uh, I can see the right being Focus Sash or Assault Vest with like Brick Break or something. But I do like Duran here. And I like Sylveon. Yeah, what's oh, what's Incineroar? Yeah, I kind of figure that much. So yeah, it's gonna try to set up like gravity hypnosis here. Is there any way I could stop this? Max Quake here. I want to see if I can try to get the KO on the Dust Claps, or at least so I know how much it does. Wow! Oof! It does. Well, now we know the calcs, man. So <laughs> now we know the calcs. Now we know the calcs. What are the off chance he hits another uh, hypnosis here? Or if he hits a hypnosis? No. Okay. I mean, that's that's like the... No spell death drop, which is nice. I mean, that's the problem with like running a uh, hypnosis if you don't... Like, have gravity set up, or uh, if you don't coil, 
It's like you're just gonna keep missing. It is a 60% accuracy move. So you're not really you're not gonna hit them all the time. Okay, so we got a slive of slow silver running on like another hard trick room. A lot of these hard trick room teams today, huh? But they usually don't do well against Durant. Durant's really good against Trick Room. And even T-Tar is really good. Okay, so we got this. I kind of want to stutter Butterfly. And then fake out the Norlax. The having X Scissor on Duran is so good, man. Like I feel like they're it's like so underused. Um, kind of want to already break a potential potential sash on the. Wow, does so much. Yeah, it, it must, might go for Trick Room. They try to go for a Belly Drum, but failed, of course. Been a parting shot. Snorlax again? Yeah, this seems like a really safe play. Uh, body slam, that's okay. I get the para. I get full para. Misses. Which is a little unfortunate, but it wasn't gonna do too much. I mean, I am. Uh, I was already plus one, and it's. Uh... Okay, so he brings Pickable. Pickable. An iron head. I think I want a pair, or do I just want to go for the full offensive on the? I get full paralyzed. Unfortunate. Wow, that didn't do anything. A KO is this a life orb? No, we don't know if it's life orb. I'm gonna protect here and try to go for. I am the slowest thing, so. If I underspit Snorlax, that means the Snorlax is maybe like not not a uh, mint speed, minimal speed, a critical. Uh, that might have mattered to be honest. I don't have much. I don't have that much uh attack investment. All right, we'll get another one. All right, man, we're doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good today. All right, so this, this is some fake tier shenanigans. I don't really like fake tier shenanigans. Uh, Tyranitar and Incineroar are usually like my go-to whenever I see like some like fake tiers and Teleon. Cause they, you know, these are both immune to uh, prankster moves. And I like my own Sylveon and my Lotic here. Okay, so he goes for that. He's okay with me. Um. Do I want to fake out the Grim Snarl or not? That is the question. I don't think so. I think I just parting shot the Togo Kiss. Tyranitar. Oh, that's really good. We get some chip on the Tyranitar, and I also weaken it with uh, yeah, I weaken it with parting shot here, and then I just want to go my Lodic. Um, I want to Rockfall here, and I also want to Icy Wind. Just so I know I'm like one of the faster ones. Oh my god, so we have another guy that doesn't really know his speed. I mean his speeds. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he doesn't know his... Uh, his uh, 
I guess like the mechanics of the game. You can't prankster that moves on uh, dark types. An icy one here. I'm afraid if it's like uh if it's a weakness policy kind of. Okay, protects. Nice. This should this should be game. I think it was probably scope scope lens maybe. And just didn't get the just didn't get the 50 50 there. Which uh yes. Yeah, Crit Toga Kiss is like very common and uh very scary to go up against. Cause it can just like you know fit you know it's just a 50 50 like you know either crits you or not sometimes it'll just crit you for like <laughs> three turns straight that's happened to me before uh so again we're going up against another hard trick room wow I go i'm guessing because hard trick room won the recent regional maybe that's why people are kind of like uh testing around with it especially with hattering gmax hattering because of the gmax move gets people uh gets people it's Pokemon confused, but it's a good it's a good move. It's just like very haxy in a way. I mean, you're kind of relying on them to like not move for a turn because it gets hit. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I do like Duran here. Do uh, I think I like this lead. Let's see if he leads. Okay. So we know that the uh, helping hand last. I guess maybe either the guy didn't EV it right or something, but they KO'd the dust clubs. Wow, okay, so this one's like max attack. Uh, here I'm gonna try to reverse uh, my trick room. Or his trick room. Oh, yep, yeah, so we see the G Max here. Gonna helping hand. Uh, that was actually not necessary, to be honest. Yeah. Definitely not necessary. To do that all right you guys want to see a really cool play all right you guys are gonna see something really funny so you guys can kind of know how to counter uh, a magic bounce hattering with parting shot so ma magic so the way it works if you parting shot a magic bounce user so in this instance hattering It'll force him to switch out and reduce my stats. Me totally not caring. And then, yeah, so definitely a 20 IQ play right there. So we know it's bikeable, okay. So let's see what he wants to do here. I am definitely okay with, um, do I want to go to my Lodic or do I want to, what do I want to do here? Yeah, I kind of saw that play coming. Oof, that was not what I wanted to see, to be honest. I do want to save my melodic because uh, that's the only way that that's the only way I could get rid of this uh, Incineroar. Darkest Lariat. Energy Ball. Okay. Um.
Yeah, it's just, uh, I want to do this. It's fine. Okay. And here, I do want to party shot this, and I also want to recover. Goes for Dr. Slayer again. It goes for Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Gonna recover here. Got recover is very safe play here. Grand punch, interesting. Wow. I'm gonna help me hand, and I'm also gonna I'm gonna help me hand scald here. Wow, does a lot of damage right there. And I'll fake out scald here again. Yeah, we play this we play this uh this match pretty well uh i, I mean i kind of gave up my uh the durant easily but that's me just kind of thinking like he may or may not have a fire move which most hatterings don't they're usually like dazzling gleam protect psychic and trick room because they could also set it as well uh, here yeah, I'll just flare place and recover. Yeah, I don't want to lose to a crit or anything. Nice, nice, nice. So we won. They won on this one. All right. I don't know how many matches we've gone, but we've been uh, doing pretty well. All right. So this guy's uh, running a little bit more standardish kind of team. You got like the Excadrill, the Titar, Incineroar, Togekiss, Conkelder, Whimsicott for some speed control and shenanigans. But I actually like my Durant and Gothitelle here with Sylveon and Incineroar in the back. Sylveon is going to be a pretty key player here. All right, so here right away, I'm just gonna not joke around, try to get as much damage as I can on this uh, Conkel there. Ooh, uh, is it Dynamaxes? Interesting. Oof, that does a lot of damage. I wonder if it's Fire Punch. Goes for a Crunch. Okay. And Max Knuckle. All right. Yep, and it doesn't do that much. All right, I'm gonna psychic here, and I'm also gonna and I'm gonna still spike the T-Tar now. And yeah, just the Duran is so. I feel like it's the best partner to go up against with like uh, Duran is either Gothitelle or or I guess like or a Helping Hand user because Helping Hand with like. Hustle boost, life orb, and dynamax form, it just does so much damage. I mean, you saw like on first turn, helping hand still spiked at 83 to 85% on the on the Conkelder, and it's usually bulky, and it was dynamax too. Uh, alright, okay. So here, I kind of want a trick room here, and I also want to steal spike. Uh, drill run, okay. Yeah, because uh, I'm pretty sure it will sand rush. Mm -hmm. And I can just try to stomping power here. Okay, so he just quits. Or if it's, yeah, he kind of saw he, he lost. That was a, re that was a really good 4-1 uh, win. Pretty straightforward. This team is really easy to kind of play around. Play around with. Uh, I, I have thought about like maybe... The only few Pokemon that I've thought about like maybe switching around would be like my Lodic and Sylveon. Uh, there's times where like I feel like something else could be better in the in there. 
Uh, like, I kind of want to fit in, like, another... Like, a toga kiss in a way. But I feel like it doesn't do... It doesn't do what Sylveon kind of does. And Sylveon is uh, pretty good, especially when you have it, like, on Trick Room or something. Uh, and my Lodic, the same thing. Like, I... I like my Lodic, like I like that it kind of keeps away Incineroars and like other Intimidate users. But when they don't bring it, and you know, kind of, and the only thing that's kind of doing just icy winding, like it can only do, you can only icy win and you know, uh, progress the game state in a way for so long. Uh, so over here, I think we got Alex Gomez and Eric Rios' team from Melbo. Melbo. Or Malmo, I don't know. You guys could co probably correct me. Okay, uh, I do. I do remember this might be focus Sash and this is uh, weakness policy. So definitely, I do like uh, Chitar and Gothitel. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then I also like um, Incineroar with Sylveon. All right, very nice, very nice. So, do I want to do here? Uh, in a way, I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna trick room here. What, is, what do I think about that? Or do I want a helping hand? Uh, but it might, it could follow me here though. So that's, that's the problem. Yeah, I'm going to trick room here. Okay with me. Yep. Does so much damage here. Uh, in here, I'll just psychic, right? Okay, so it didn't protect. That's interesting, because, yeah, this will KO. Yep. Even app, yeah, even Dynamax. Plus one, yeah, it does a lot of damage. We got the rope time and we got this. Okay. I wonder if it's gonna nasty plot here. It could nasty plot, right? Could definitely see a nasty plot here. And we still have, well, we still haven't Dynamax either, so that's a uh, very good, very good, uh. So I really do, I do like this. Okay, who goes for double edge? That's okay with me. I'll go for a psychic. Do some decent amount of damage here. Oh, okay. And I do wanna helping hand. Um... Yeah, that's what I wanna do here. Yeah. I wanna. Dynamax Sylveon, get a helping hand off, to KO the Rodom, or potentially KO the Rodom. Okay, I'm gonna switch out into Cinerori uh, here, because yeah, that double edge did a pretty decent chunk. Worst case scenario would be if it doesn't go for the double protect and Nori likes crits. It doesn't get the crit, which is nice. And Starfall should get the KO. Yep. And here, just very simple. I'm just gonna 
Oh, interesting. It's not Barry. Hmm. Is it not Barry? I'm gonna see if it's Barry or not. Not Barry. Interesting. Wonder what it was. Wonder what it was. Alright, we'll get one more. It's zero. Okay. Uh, yeah. Almost has the same... Almost has the same Pokemon as mine. Uh, I, I could see Ronan Wash being a really big problem against me. Oh, yeah. I do really want... I want to bring... I want to bring Duran here, but... Oh, man. Like, I want to bring... Elodic? And Sylveon or Tyranitar? I think Sylveon would be nice here. Okay. We're gonna helping hand Max Quake the Incineroar. We get the KO, that's okay. We got a plus one. Uh, so, Rodon more than likely is, might want to Dynamax here. This next turn. Okay. Uh, kind of want to. What do I want to do here? I want to try to get rid of the T-Tar or something. Would it have like Fire Punch or some shit like that? Oop, excuse my language. So what could he, uh, so I kind of see him Dynamax. The Rodom. Uh, yeah, I do see him, but what does he want to do with the T-Tar? I don't think I don't think a helping hand uh, will KO it, but I do th do think this would. Okay, so he goes for T-Tar instead. Interesting. Wow, it almost gets the KO, bro. That's insane. All right, so uh, this is why this is why we have quick attack, and this is why like I, Tibion is good instead of Togekiss in these situations, because. Uh, just with quick attack, and then very, it's very nice being able to proc your own uh, guitar with quick attack uh, with the weakness policy if he has it. And here, like you know, um, we, we could take we could take a. Uh... Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, so it chooses to nasty plot here instead. All right, so we're just gonna hyper voice, and I'm gonna helping hand here. Uh, we should underspeed, uh, the T-Tar. I'd be... I'd be completely confused if it, if it, if we didn't. And we get the KO on the... Uh, I guess the... Yeah, it's just with Pixie Play, uh... It does so much, man. It does so much. Some people do opt to go for uh throw spray. I just think Pixie Play is just a lot a little bit better for me, in my opinion. Uh because uh, at least like uh because at least like you know you you could be able to switch out S Sylveon like without like you know having to worry about or not having to worry about like so just so like throw throat spray doesn't become like a waste you know what i mean uh 
So like if you hyper voice and then throat spray activates and then for some reason you kind of have to switch out, you know, then like what's the point of throat spray in that situation in a way? Oh, I'm gonna pause that. Cut it out maybe. Uh, but yeah. What was I saying about? Th oh yeah, yeah. That's why I don't really like throat spray. Uh, it's a good move. I I think. The only Pokemon that really kind of benefits of Throat Spray would be maybe uh, Primarina. And definitely, I would say uh, Tomo if you're running the Clinging Scales. Because at least with that, you could set up with Clinging Souls. You know, get plus one and everything. And then, because you use the voice move, uh, Throat Spray activates. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to end it here today, guys. Uh, I think we went undefeated for... In this video, we did not lose the game today, which is really nice. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna might do another video with this team. I'm not sure. Uh, I do really want to use uh, different teams, of course. Uh, and as well, yeah, I'll definitely leave a a paste pin or the EV spread of this team so you guys could try it out. This is a really good team. Uh, if you like, you know, I had to handle it pretty well. Like, it's kind of straightforward, but at the same time, you got to do some, you know, little plays here and there. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.